Hey guys, what's going on? My name is God Forever, and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Steam client files or Steam files in general. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come to the top left corner right here, and we're going to click on library. Then we have like a library of the games, and now we're going to click on the game we have issues with, but we're going to right click on it, and we're going to click properties. So, for example, I chose Counter-Strike, and on the left side, you have to find installed files. It's not usually always installed files. It could be local files, all kinds of files, but it's always files, you know, and something prior to that. Okay, so let's find on the right side now, verify integrity of game files. Just click on that and get it done. You, you need to verify the integrity of game files, and usually that fixes 80% of the issues, but if not, Let's get straight into the next one. So the next fix, if verify integrity of game files does not work, is to refresh the Steam files. Now this is more technical thing, but I'm going to walk you through as much as I can. So first of all, we're going to press Windows and R key, and this little thing is going to pop up, and we're going to type in uh, percent, and then program files, and then bracket x86 bracket and the percent icon again then I'm also going to leave these commands in the description so no worries you can just copy from there then click OK and this is going to open program files x86 now usually this is where your steam folder is located but your steam folder could also be located in just program files because if I go one step back let me just open this a little bit more so you, you can see you can have your Steam folder in program files or program files x86. Okay, so let's go down to the Steam. And right in here, you're going to delete every single file except for two. So you're not going to delete the Steam apps and you're not going to delete steam.exe. This is basically the runner of the Steam application, but the rest of them are just helper, um, sort of like files or um, folders that can be generated afterwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove everything, so except for this, right? And then I'm going to also remove everything until here and then all the way down to here. So this is what you should be deleting. And afterwards, you should be left with just steam.exe and the Steam apps. Um, you need to keep those two folders, otherwise you can just start uh, reinstalling the Steam. Uh, your system is not going to break or something. It, this is just lo locally for this program. Even if you accidentally delete Steam apps, you can still hit Control z and it will revert back. Um, one thing that I do want to mention is prior to deleting, Please do not have the Steam uh, open. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click on the Steam bar right here below. You're going to click on Task Manager. It takes a while to open up. And if you're using um, uh, Windows 11, you can type in here Steam. And then you can see Steam 32-bit. You can just click and click End Task. This will basically shut uh, off the Steam or the processes. Uh, it's not enough just to click the X. Uh, you have to actually shut it down via this task manager just to make sure that it's not going to affect any other you know system process okay so afterwards you have these two files uh, you're going to reboot your pc and you're going to be left you know you're going to come to this page again so sorry to uh, to the desktop you're going to click on windows plus r key you're going to navigate to the program files once more and you're going to go to the steam now in the Steam, you're going to have only two files, which is Steam Apps and Steam.exe, which is the executable file. You're going to go to Steam uh, EXE, um, so which is here. You're going to double click it, and all the files will be reinstalled, every single one of them. So there is definitely no worries uh, that you're going to lose files or something on computer is going to break. Okay, so and then obviously restart the Steam, um, but you have to start Steam from here, so, uh, not through shortcut or anywhere else because it's currently not supported, but you'd only have to do it for the first time. So you have to open Steam for the first time via click on clicking on this thing on the steam.exe and afterwards you can just go here and type Steam or do it via the shortcut, it's no problem. Okay, 
So this is a second fix. If this doesn't work, then you're in the last 10%. So we're talking about slightly more severe issues. So you're going to go and uh, look for command prompt. You can just go to the search bar, window search bar and type CMD. This is going to open up the command prompt. Now in the command prompt, we're going to type a command, which is, well, first of all, we're, gonna, we're going to, I'm, uh, I'm going to type in the path. So C and then like this, I'm going to type out the entire path for me. So this is program files. So instead of going to Windows plus R key and then navigate that file, we have to go through command prompt. So C and then um, this symbol with two dots, I forgot what it's called. Um, then we're going to do a backslash uh, program files. Then in the brackets, I'm going to type x86. And then we're going to go into Steam. So we are not right now in the Steam folder. Now we're going to move one folder inwards as well. So this is going to be bin and then we do another uh, backslash and we're going to go into so this is a front slash and backslash and we're going to type in steam service.exe this steam service.exe is basically um, an executable file that runs all the services or and daemon processes and so on uh, of the, the set program so that's steam right so what we want to do with this is we want to um, and also end it with a double quote like this then do one space and uh, do uh, a backslash now this is an actual backslash I think and then type in repair this will repair all the um, the files that steam service has generated or is controlling them because this is uh, uh, basically a management uh, uh, f uh, executable file and it's also going to repair the exe which it has, of course, the the setup for. Okay, so, the, and then hit enter, it's going to take maybe two minutes and it should resolve everything, and you're going to be left with the same thing as just refreshing Steam. It does a bit more though. So then op obviously open Steam again. If it doesn't work, we're gonna go to the next thing. So the next thing is, we're going to, again, open this uh, the command prompt, same way, nothing has changed. And we're gonna do another thing through command prompt. Uh, this uh, this time we're gonna do something that's related to uh, OS, so Windows OS. So we're gonna type in bcd edit, but written together. And then the first command is going to have space, and then we're gonna do uh, a backslash, and we're going to write delete value, and then we have to list a variable that we're deleting the value of. So this is going to be no integrity uh, checks. So okay. Uh, and then uh, you have to, we're going to re reboot the PC as well, but we have to do three more commands. So BCD edit. Uh, so this is, you obviously you click enter, you run the previous one, and then we're going to do the next one. So BCD edit the same as before, and we're going to type backslash and then delete value. And we're going to do another space and we're going to type load options. Now this is another variable that holds some value. We're deleting the value of that set variable. Hit enter, and we're moving to the third one. Uh, the third one that we have to uh, the value that we have to delete is again BCD edits space um, backslash, and then we do. Sorry, this is not the the third. This this one we're not going to delete anything. We're just going to set the the. Sorry, I think I wrote it wrong. So debug off. So we're going to run the OS command and we're just going to um, set the kernel debugger to off. Now usually it should be off anyways, because what debugger does is uh, when it encounters a bug or an error that shouldn't be there, it fixes automatically. But in order to repair the Steam file, so this is going to be last command, we have to set it off, otherwise it's going to intervene and it's going to cause problems. So click enter and it should say that it, it was done successfully. It, but if it says that it's missing files or it, it, it's, uh, you know, the command uh, was not able to be executed or something like that, then that's fine, it means it's already off. Okay, so the, ne the fourth one that we're going to type in is BCD edit again, um, space, um, then we're gonna do a front slash and we're going to type in delete value, uh, sorry, it's a backslash, delete value uh, and then a space and then NX. So this is another variable that we have to delete the value of, but in order to de delete the value of, we have to set the debugger to 
uh, off otherwise it's, we're not going to be able to delete it or we're going to be able to delete it but um, the debugger will set it to the previous state so you're not going to do anything by deleting the value with this comment so click enter and delete the last thing now afterwards you have to restart your pc that's all that's all you have to do uh do not start the steam client um if you do there's there's not no, there's not going to be anything major but try not to and just go straight to restarting uh, your pc and then when you come back start the steam and at that point i'm pretty sure it should be fine but if it's not it means there's some some other issue and you have to reinstall the steam now if you want to reinstall the steam you have go and go to the the start icon in the top in the bottom left corner you're going to type and search for uninstall um, and you can find an uninst sorry uninstall oh add or remove programs what's called in windows 11 i think in windows 10 it's called uninstall programs or something like that all right so this is where it's going to bring us to the installed apps and here we can go and search for the apps you can also do this uh, search search thing for in windows 10 if you have one and you search for steam then you're going to right click on here and you're going to click uninstall that's it you have to install uninstall this way do not delete the folder because the folders are not you know all located all in one place and you're going to leave some files you know uh, for the later so if you reinstall there are going to be issues you have to uninstall this way through how you know through the steam setup um, uh, service so that's a mandatory thing you uninstall and then go to the steam website redownload the, the steam and that's about it you, during the uninstallation process you can uh, choose to save the games so not to uninstall every single game um, because you know later on you might reinstall it again that's an option and that will be offered during the uninstallation uh, otherwise that's about it reinstall the steam and uh, try to run the games again and obviously that should be fine because you're completely you know you're reinstalling the entire package so that should be fine and there should be no problems but if there are any issues that you current that you're going to have after all those five steps make sure to leave a comment and i'll try to help you as much as i can without further ado guys i'll see you in the next video and bye bye